go to the governor, but because this this authority comes from the, the U.S. Constitution, they don't need to do that. So I would say that we really need to pray into what the state legislatures understand that they can do and can't do, and they don't get intimidated by what they're being told, like in all these these states, like Wisconsin, uh, Michigan, uh, Georgia, where and in, in, in Pennsylvania, where you have the Democratic governor and the Republican legislatures, so they understand what they actually can do and can't do. Well, thank you. I mean, this is so important. We are getting, we're being schooled, everybody, on the Constitution, on SCOTUS, Article 2, uh, uh, 14th Amendment. These are the avenues that we have to be aware of. And so I think uh, we need to pray that our legislators, I am surprised to see the lack of depth of understanding in these basic principles. And they are elected leaders. I think, like you said, Fulton, to pray for them to get a better understanding of what is needed in this process, in this crisis we're facing it right now. I would like one person to step forward and pray for that. And then, Mark, I have you on to give us some other prayer reports. We'll call on people. But again, will somebody step forward and say that our legislators in Michigan have gained greater wisdom and understanding in this process? Somebody like to step up and pray that. I can do that, Rick, if you want. Please just stop it. Father God, in Jesus' name, I speak wisdom, revelation, and understanding to our legislators at this time. Lord, you know <laughs> that we were set up for this with the um, term limit so that our legislators are now more lay people than scholars in the constitutional law. Father God, I ask for a supernatural ability to absorb and retain and understand the magnitude of our Constitution, the, the U.S. Constitution, of our Constitution being the Michigan Constitution. Father God, open their minds and hearts in a new way to understand new data, new information, new terms, and to see how all the pieces fit. Father God, give them the eyes to see the strategy that you have laid out in front of them, give them courage to take the proper steps, give them confidence as they stand on the new knowledge that they have just received. Let them trust in you as their guide. And Father God, in the name of Jesus, I decree that the House Legal Council will give proper information and not withhold the information that our legislators need in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Mark? What should be another target or two uh, area, Mark, please? Um, just kind of an update. I just got a, uh, a link from the Detroit News that the uh, Southfield clerk was discharged with six felony counts over this election uh, earlier in November. And the Attorney General and Secretary of State uh, were quoted in there saying, well, this is a rare case. But I think it started, we're going to see more arrests, and we need to be praying for justice to be served. So not so much that we want to penalize people that did bad things, but we need to get the American people feeling comfortable with the election in the future that they're uh, fair and safe and accurate. And so arrests are going to need to happen, and one already happened here in Michigan uh, just an I think that's a, a good uh, point of prayer. Just very much what Randy Bishop says, we need to be praying over the uh, the forensic team up there in Antrim County. I mean, they are hours or maybe minutes away from having all the final analysis done on the Dominion machines and the software, the Smartmatic software. And so we need to pray for their strength and we need to pray for their protection. I mean, the people that filed the lawsuit and the various uh, uh, forensic team that came in from the Trump team, uh, as well as the people that were local on the ground, I mean, they were being provided security, not just by local spirits, but by patriots, because there's so many threats going on. So we need to pray for all these uh, men and women involved in this forensic team for their sake. And then, uh, as Robin was praying, and also uh, my conversation with uh, Representative Beth Griffin this morning that led her to being on this call today, she was, one of the things she said to me that really struck me, and it's happening for all of us on this call, and that is, she says, 
we are praying, we are working, we are trying to figure out what to do, but most of us are also studying things in the Constitution, and some of them very vague things that we haven't ever looked at before. So we're in a learning process while we're trying to do our job to learn what our jobs are. And as intercessors on this call, most of us didn't know about the 12th Amendment or the 14th Amendment and the details about it. They didn't know how the Supreme Court could rule and how the votes would be then sent out to the each state legislature as, uh, via Congress. There's just a lot of different nuances that we're all learning since the election. And so as we're praying and gaining insight, we need to pray that all the legislators get the same insight. And it wouldn't be bad for the uh, media to get that insight, too, because they just seem to be reporting whatever they're told to report. So I think those are some key things, and I'd like to Rick, start out by praying for Randy Bishop and his team of guys and gals up there uh, before you open up the call to uh, pray for everybody, because I know he's a tough guy. He can handle a lot of stuff, but they need prayer because, you know, there's a lot of risk and a lot of threats. And Randy's been, well, Mark, uh, Mark I, I want you to start part. on and lead, and I want you to start on the what you just said. And we'll call on two others to follow because this forensic team stuff is really important. And Edgem County is like an arrow being shot down to the Wayne County. And so uh, everybody, so yeah, we're in a war in a, a, a search on what Antrim means, and it means lone rich. That's where its original meaning comes. Uh, uh, it means lone rich. And it kind of sounds like it's fighting a battle out there, at least uh, between somewhere and nowhere. You know, it's the uh, Fairbanks City in Chicago. It's not near much other than the little ski resort. So uh, we need to pray that God shows up on Lone Ridge. Go ahead, Mark. Start out with all other people. Okay. Heavenly Father, I lift up Randy Bishop and all of uh, his patriots that uh, he's been working with there, those that were guarding uh, these flash drives and machines in the clerk's office uh, the last 48 hours before the forensic team could get there, providing uh, protection along with the sheriffs of these forensic team members. So we're asking for protection for them because they have to go home in the, the very community, and they're now uh, potential targets because this is a spiritual battle, and the devil doesn't like it and wants to send his minions out. So we cancel all threats from... Uh, uh, ill will meaning people, but also from any demonic forces. And we say no in Jesus' name. They shall be hidden under the shadow of the cross, hidden under the shadow of the wing of the Almighty God, and that no harm can come near them nor their dwelling, and that they will be enlarged as a result of this, not decreased. In Jesus' name, we declare them. Andrew County Prayer, somebody else. Yes, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we bless you.